Why is she? Why? Why? What? What happened? I I clearly did something I probably shouldn't have. Hello everyone, this is Archive of 12, and today we are back on Fallout 4! It's been a little while. <laughs> um, let's see, in the last episode, we made our way across most of Boston in order to attempt to locate the hidden base of the Mechanist, so that our new companion Ada can get some revenge. And along the way, we ended up encountering rad scorpions, super mutants, raiders, and... We actually got stuck in a turf war, I believe, between Sur super mutants and the uh, Brotherhood of Steel. So, you know, that was that was great and kind of scary, because I didn't know if that verdi bird that the Brotherhood was flying was going to come crashing on us or, or start shooting us or whatever. But in any case, we did manage to make it. And so now we're about to enter the warehouse and see what sort of, like, horrific mechanical monstrosities await us. So, let's, uh... Um, I'm just gonna take a quick look at my mods folder to make sure everything's updated, and then we'll get be good to go. Alright, so we are going into General Atomic's facility. Um... I don't quite know what to expect. I haven't actually played the the automaton storyline. Um, I'm a little concerned that we're going to be attacked by like... Oh! It's kind of hard not to see them when they're shooting you! Well, looks like Ada's intel was correct. Okay, well, that's that's uh, one way to start an episode. What's up here? Looks like they're no longer onto us. And just uh, be careful. We might be able to sneak up on the next enemies. Where you go? Ding. We were in the middle of talking, sir. Now this reminds Gary of the good old days. Curie! No! Oh, that's why she got taken down. Nasty. 
Oh, what the blinga! Go away. Go away. I need to have the mechanist to improve your sensors. Buzz off. I don't want anything I don't want any more trouble. Go away. Ada, you're not very stealthy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's not what I wanted. Stop shooting me! Oh, crap. I should have known that was going to happen. Oh. I'm a dingus! Why? Why did I think that was a good idea? <laughs> Okay, so, um, let's not cause a nuclear detonation via shooting them in the power pack. Okay, we're back where we were before. And you, I don't know who you are, but you made the stupid mistake of phasing through a door. Oh yeah, definitely doing damage. Ow! Damn it! Where are you guys? Wait, what? I don't think this is where I was supposed to be. I'm not sure also what how or why I switched the first person. I'm through. There you are. Jesus Christ. Damn it! There we go. Open the doors. Whoa, what the hell are you? Uh. 
Jesus, what the hell? Why would what? what I hear uh, bra. What is this robot bench thing that keeps updating? This place is really glitchy. Alright. Oh. I think we'd have to talk to Ada. Let's do that. Did you retrieve something from that robot? Have you seen a robot with a brain like that before? No, but my old caravan discovered records about them while we were scavenging military facilities. That's not creepy. Databanks, it's called the Robo Brain. It was considered one of the most technologically superior robots ever constructed, but the model never reached full production status. Gee, I wonder why. It had this strange device on it. Let's have a look. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. Are you sure? While there's only a 78.3% chance that I'm correct, I'd like to point out that it's the only lead we have. <laughs> True, okay. Let's just hope it's safe. I share your sentiment. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until the radar beacon is successfully installed. Okay. So, I have to build a robot workbench. Huh. How far are, are we from... Oh, God. We are all the way across. Okay. Um, I've been... I promised myself that I wasn't going to fast travel too much, but considering how far we are from Sanctuary, um, I feel like it would be best if I fast traveled here. Oh, I must be outside. Okay. Um, oh, there was that other room that I didn't explore. One that was talking to me. Um, the robot workbench is a powerful tool, allowing even the simplest of minds to create complex robots. Good to know. I've always wanted a droid army. Ah, here it is. We, we must what? That's that's Curie's voice. Okay. Uh. Is that what I'm supposed to do? The child eat discipline. Yeah, I heard you. There, he's punished. Be careful. Some of these old places are just waiting to fall to pieces. Am I supposed to do something specific? I punched him! I shot him! Oh my god. This radio needs to freaking turn off. The appropriate punishment was separation of the child from any potential source of entertainment. Are you serious? Please proceed into the second test chamber. 
I can't believe that just happened. A proper reasoning unit must be able to identify the needs of our charges. Please assess the state of the time child and fulfill its needs. It came to life despite all of this. It is the duty of us all to further the survival. Find anything useful? Is it just correct? The child was on you. Your focal tonality analysis programming seems to be in working order. I guess. Take this opportunity to reconfirm that any deprecated Muslim procedures are not left in your programming. The Why am I playing Nanny to Long Dead uh, test program? Whoa! Just transfer it in here. Splendidly done. All potentially fatal objects have been put out of the child's reach. Guess that was it. Please remember, children have a penchant for finding ways to arm themselves. They never are truly safe. Absolute diligence is required. Congratulations. It appears you are fully functional and ready to return to service. Please take a replacement fusion core and replace in the hallway on your way out. That is excellent! Fusion cores are exactly what I was looking for. Alright, so the mechanist is in full force now. Lots and lots of little robots that want to kill me. It's a droid revolution here. Vault 88. I will worry about that later. Look in the tank. Wait, what? We simply must investigate the cast vessel. We must have them. I didn't see anything. There's a crashed ship. I wonder if that's the same vessel that I uh, encountered on the previous playthrough with um, with my, what do you call it, what's her face, my Commander Shepard character. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to look up its location and maybe we'll just go there before we do anything else. There it is. Alright, let's head to Overland Station then. This is going way off track. But I am my curiosity has been piqued. I'd much rather discuss science. Let's do this. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. I'm glad we showed up when we did. Damn invading robots. So it said it was like over here is. So I guess we'll just walk this way until we find it. It's a crash ship. Can't be too hard to find. Oh, Brotherhood is still guys. Okay. You guys are friendly. On your way, civilian. No matter how many battles we win. There's always another fight ahead of us.
Ah, uh oh. That wasn't good. The question becomes, what brought down that verdi bird? I don't see any bodies. So, I'm going to chalk it up to random? Fire. Think we may have found our crash site, people. We definitely found our crash site. Whoa! What? Okay, then. There's no hatch. I don't see any bodies. Maybe the alien managed to escape? I never actually investigated the last, uh, the last time I, I encountered the crash ship. I don't see the alien around. Maybe he stumbled off and then died later. He could be anywhere. Oh. There's a cave. You go in the cave? Nope, somebody's here. Hey, easy, buddy. I don't want to kill you, but you don't give me any reason. You literally gave me no choice. Yes. Okay. That's just unfortunate. I did not want to kill him. But, uh, I didn't really have much of a choice. Okay. I'm going to head back to Overland Station. And if that's a... I can't remember if that's one we liberated or not. But if it is, I'm going to try and build a robot station there. Maybe I can give them some defenses against hostile robots. Excuse me. You've got to help. My sister's been kidnapped. Oh, I guess I haven't helped them yet. Just tell me what happened. They said they'd be back for the ransom in a few days. If I don't pay up, they'll kill her. But I don't have that kind of money. Um... Do you know where they took her? I'm pretty sure. I'll mark it on your map. Don't worry. I'll get her back. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know what I was going to do. Just bring her back safe, okay? Well, I guess uh, we're going to on a rescue mission.
That's enough of that. No, 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 why? Why? Cancel, cancel. Why is she... Why? Why? What? What happened? I... I clearly did something I probably shouldn't have. I have no idea what just happened. I don't know why they turned on me. I was trying to save a caravan. My stormtroopers rebelled! <laughs> okay, are we cool? I think we're cool. You know what? Before anything else happens, I... I I will come back to to Overland Station. I am going back to Sanctuary, and I am going to build the station, and I'll worry about that later. I don't know what I did, but wow, that was a violent turnaround. <laughs> Is there white paint? There is white paint. If you're gonna be part of the stormtrooper crew, you gotta look like a stormtrooper, ish. All right, so I, I've upgraded Ada a little bit and repainted her so she more fits in with my group. Ada. Are you ready to install the radar beacon? Yes. Does it have to be you? Could install it on a different robot. My memory contains more relevant knowledge than any new robot you attempt to create. I appreciate your concern, but I can assure you I won't suffer any harm from the installation. So, are you ready? All right. It's time. Let's do this. Good. The installation should be simple. Once I'm in the robot workbench, just install the radar beacon and I'll do the rest. Special mods, special mods, radar beacon. Hey. What can I do for you? Ada? A moment. The modification was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. Do you think the mechanist knows we're tampering with the beacon? I've already added fail-safes to ensure my location is secure and prevent any unintended commands the signal may issue. Unfortunately, one of that will help us determine the signal's source. Hmm. It's a good start, at least. Absolutely. With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the mechanist. Fortunately, I'm detecting another robo-brain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. Which means the one I destroyed isn't the only robo-brain under mechanist control. Yes, and we can use this to our advantage. The encryption on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routines. Okay. Are you sure this will work? I've calculated a 96.9% .9 chance of success. Given your capabilities, I believe the odds to be in our favor. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. Alright, let's do it. Good. Let's get started. I'm uploading the location of the Robobrain to your pet boy now. Just be careful. These robots tend to travel in groups, so you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> Remember to breathe. I keep feeling if I forget to do this, no more curry. And suddenly, all this excitement we do, there is an element of something new. What if my arm is blown off? It is not so simple to repair this now. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. That makes me feel better. Come, I, I will be fine. It is coming to me. Quickly, I hope. Just bear with me. 
I am sure my research will blossom with this magnificent new hardware. Mm. A moment, please. Sure. I enjoy talking with you. As do I. I owe you so very much, and I do not mean to sound ungrateful. But I fear I am barely holding myself together. Are you all right? I just don't know. Becoming a synth is so much harder than I ever imagined. At first it was a struggle just to master basic functioning. How to brush your teeth, how to operate with only two hands, etc. But now I am full of inconsequential thoughts, feelings. How do you do everything with this whirlwind in the head? <laughs> Ooh, I can flirt with her. Gary, you dog. I hope some of these inconsequential feelings involve me. Yes. No. And see, now my head goes ever more. Spin, spin, spin. <laughs> Even if it looks so effortless. Like breathing. But for me, it is so hard to focus, to do research, and the inspiration is as elusive as ever. I fear I will never contribute anything to the world. The world? Not so sure, but you've certainly made a difference to me. More feelings. No words for them. The <laughs> and all of this is you. As a robot, I had much appreciation for you, but now it is deeper. I am still loyal, but now I do this because I want to. Because you are my friend. Uh, flirt. So, just friends? Nothing more than that? I feel very funny. <laughs> short. My eyes, they are malfunctioning. Adieu. <laughs> okay. You know what? That was a good one to end on. I'm going to stop there. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. So, we had some setbacks. But, uh, overall, pretty good, I think. We've, uh, <laughs> uh, obviously, we've made up. Everybody's okay now. Nobody's trying to kill me. So, yeah. Alright, thank you for joining me. This was Ark of a 12, and I will see you in the next video.